What is up my fellow Warbirds, AK the War Eagles back with another video. This time we're taking a look at the F4C Phantom 2 that was recently released with update 1.91 Night Vision. Now, no joke, this thing is a disappointment. It was overhyped, but inc implemented very poorly. For starters, you don't get the AIM-9Es like we were promised by Gaijin. The gun sight is off-center by, I believe it's like 3 degrees, even though in reality it only had a maximum of negative 1 degree, and that was purely optional, so, you know, they could, in fact, align the um, aiming sight, you know, perfectly center, but, you know, Gaijin. Um... And of course, you know, the MiG-19s right now are just monsters. So yeah, this thing is, in a straight-up dogfight, it is in at an incredible disadvantage. Even after it has been slightly buffed, it's at a huge disadvantage. But that doesn't mean this thing cannot still be played in a way that is effective. What I have discovered with this thing is you have to play, if you're playing it, playing it, you have to play it in a very out-of-the-box method. Very unconventional. And in many cases, you're just going to have to be straight up a scumbag if you want to play this thing. It's effective if you do that. But in just a straight up dogfight, vast majority of the time, you are going to lose. This thing is currently the worst 10.0 jet. And honestly, at this point, it does not deserve to be anything higher than 10.0. But like I said, it does have its perks. And it can still be effectively used. Here, let me show y'all. In this first clip, I'm on my PC. And we're facing only the Russians in this match. Now one thing that the F4 can do is because it does have such a nice fuel reserve, it can outlast any of the Russian MiGs. So, as scummy as this is, one method you can use the F4, especially if you're just playing solo, take out the AIM-9s and just camp above the enemy airfield and wait until the enemy pops in. Here I see a MiG-19 about to land, so I head in to get him. Now granted, this thing is, the MiG-19 is already damaged, but I may as well finish him off to prevent him from taking back off. And I get the kill assist. So then I just hit the afterburners and loop back around and wait for another target. Alright, so a new target has been spotted, and it is another MiG-19 trying to come into land. Nice and easy. And pop. Hit the afterburners, get away from the airfield. Now this is one of the, actually the few matches that USA does current does actually win, and you know, I don't know how USA pulled off this win, but this tactic certainly helped. All right, so here we go. I've definitely spotted another target. And it's a MiG-21 this time. Keeping my speed up so that the airfield doesn't hit me. Well, 
Now one th good thing about the guns being off-center is I can hit the ground targets much easier, but as you'll notice in a later clip, it's so hard to aim with them in a dogfight. Alright, so final target has been spotted. And it's another MiG-19. And pop. And that's a win for, for the allies. So yeah, super scummy. Super scumbag way to play. But as it currently stands, this is for dog for killing air targets this is honestly the most effective way I've learned how to do it so far and yeah that's just the only thing you really can do with it now that's not to say that you can't at least dogfight with this thing but you absolutely have to pick and choose your battles and honestly because of how broken the F4 is those moments come few and far between. This is one of them. Here I missed a MiG-21 coming in for a landing. He was able to refuel and take back off, so I'm trying to get up and catch up to him. See what I mean about how hard it is to aim these guns? Now this F4 is trying to land, but he's not going to be able to, because the F4C does not have a drogue chute. So yeah, you're pretty much unable to land if you if you get like a short runway, like here on um, LLA Main. So MiG-21 still there. I now have to engage this guy in a straight up dogfight. So again, you guys can start to see just how hard it is to aim these things. And had that been an AIM-9E, that probably would have gotten them. Alright, so I've already popped a couple of missiles at him, and I keep missing. At this point, I adrenaline is absolutely rushing. I am sweating bullets at this point. Now, I do have a teammate who went to try to land, but he's no... So he's nowhere near me. So literally at this point, it is 1v1. And there goes my last missile.
And I finally got him with a pilot snipe to the face. So yeah, this thing can dogfight. You just absolutely cannot do it typically. And you have to absolutely pick and choose your battles. But there's one other way that we've dis that I've discovered that you can play this thing. Now, the other way you can play the F4 Phantom is a bit more complicated, but it absolutely works. Get you, three other friends that have the F4 Phantom, and all of y'all have 228 Mighty Mouse Rockets apiece. Yeah, that's a lot. Also, make sure your friends are not dumb and try to crash into your other friends. I'm looking at you, Sergeant Fiddy, at the start of this video. You're lucky I cut it out for this. And go and ground pound. One F4 Phantom can take out all three of the air bases. Here, though, in this clip, we do have random players doing that for us. So me, Sergeant Vitty, who's now dead because he decided to try to crash. Another friend of mine, DeWins, and Death Striker are all loaded up with 228 Mighty Mouse rockets, and we are about to attack the airfield. Let's just sit back and watch this magic unfold. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, again, we had some friends... Um, sorry. We had some random players help us out. But you can do this entirely with a squad of four F4 Phantoms. If everybody's coordinated. Here's another match. That random does get the bases. And so, me and the squad decide to go in and try to get it... Try to get the airfield again. Now Death Striker gets really lucky here. He finds a guy sitting on the airfield and he's just able to rocket him. So yeah, good kill Death Striker. Alright, now it's time for my attack run. Now again, you're going to need at least four players to do this, so a full squad. And all of them have to be on their A-game. Of course, having random players though, like I said, helping out, that takes a lot of the pressure off you. So yeah, an Air RB, this is absolutely how the F4 should be played.
And salty Russian tears make good vodka. Alright, so this is another match that we did, and everything almost just fell apart, but managed to succeed right here at the end. Alright, so I fired my rockets, another random fired his rockets. Both of- two of my squad mates are dead. I believe another- I believe DeWinds might be dead here either in a minute or he's already dead. So pretty much it's just down to me and randoms. Leaping back around, doing another attack run. Luckily the randoms are able to pull through on this one. So we are able to get the win. And that's the win. So yeah, the F4 can be used effectively. It's just very atypical right now. Hopefully in the future it will be buffed and everything so that it actually can dogfight. But right now, this is honestly the best way to play it. So yeah, that's the F4 in its current state. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. You absolutely have to play either scumbaggy, um, atypical, things of that nature. It is not your standard aircraft. Hopefully in the future when it finally gets its AIM-9Es and potentially the AIM-7 Sparrows, that would definitely help us out. Honestly, the whole thing just needs a buff, but that doesn't mean it still cannot be played. If you guys like what you saw, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, um, link to the Discord will be in the description below. Y'all should come ch check that out. You guys can keep up with all my shenanigans and things of that nature. Leave a comment down below on what you think, and as always, I hope you all have enjoyed.